welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you how i prepare porridge jam like this porridge jam i saw it on one of my friends uh, love matters channel i was like wow i'm craving for yam right now so i decided to head to the market like african food store or it's not even african food store i just went to the store and get the yam i'm going to be following her recipe but not all and i'm going to modify it a little bit but yeah in case if you want to see her own uh, recipe i'm going to be linking it at the description for you guys to see okay so let's get to the ingredients so these are the ingredients i already uh sliced peel and washed the yam as you can see there so i'm going to add water there so here i have some big crayfish which is called oporo i have my cats smoked catfish in the hot water and i have my bell pepper onion garlic in there and no cube and green leaf i'm also going to be using a little bit of scent leaf so for the yam i added water almost at the same level now i'm going to allow that to continue cooking so while the yam is cooking i'm going to clean my catfish so if you can use any fish of your choice okay but she used smoked catfish if i like she used smoked fish for that recipe so i have catfish this is why i'm using smoked catfish so i'm going to go ahead now to clean all the catfish then we'll proceed <music> So I'm done cleaning the fish, now I'm going to blend my pepper and the uh, onion. There is no tomatoes used here, okay? So I'm using my food processor to blend them. You can use your normal blender to blend it. She actually used the normal blender, but I just feel to use my food processor. So I'm also throwing in that green scotch bonnet pepper, which is not spicy at all. So now over to the yam, I'm adding the clean uh, smoked fish and the crayfish inside. You can add the powdered crayfish, okay? So I added some salt and put the lid on to allow them to continue cooking. So this is after three minutes of adding the fish. As you can see, I'm just pressing everything inside. So I'm adding my no cube right now. So after adding the no cube, I'm going to add my pepper mixture blend pepper mixture give it a quick stir okay then add vegetable oil inside you can use olive oil or red oil but she used vegetable oil inside the yam so now i'm adding one scotch bonnet pepper which i'm going to be taking out uh soon i just want the yam to take the flavor then remove it so i'm correcting the seasoning by adding just a little bit of salt cover it and allow it to cook for 10 minutes but i do stir them while they are cooking okay so here the yam is cooked as you can see i added green leaf and scent leaf which she did not add on her own but i just i love to add green and scent leaf into my porridge jam and i love my porridge jam to be a little bit liquid if you don't like yours to be liquid you can actually cook it or make sure you add a little bit water while they are cooking so guys this is cooked after adding the green i turn off the heat the yam is so delicious like was so delicious guys you need to give this yam a try trust me you're going to love it i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you don't forget to subscribe share this video and i will see you in my next video god bless you bye